Hello students, welcome once again to my channel. Now in this section, we have a question over here. Now if x equal to x, if s to the power s equal to s squared, now what is the value of x or what is x? Now if you look at the um, expression over here, we have x to the power s being equal to s squared. Now if you look at the expression, you realize that um, if we assume s being equal to zero, realize that zero cannot be a solution. Why? Because when we plug, when we plug in zero, right? So let's plug in zero and see. So when we plug in zero, that is for s being equal to zero, right? We are going to have um, that is um, this is just going to be one, and this is going to be equal to zero, right? So when we plug in zero. We are going to get something like this which um which gives us an uh, indeterminate zero right there so over there what we can do is to um, um divide both sides by s squared so when we have the expression s squared s to the power has been equal to s squared let's divide both sides by s so s squared when we divide both sides by s squared then we are just going to get um, something like this s to the power x here right and then this goes to the top there so it becomes minus 2 being equal to um, 1 right so we realize that um, with this um, one way of getting 1 right in order for us to get 1 what we have to do is to take a, a negative 1 right we take a, ne a negative 1 which by an even power so when I take um, um s here to be negative one but then the power should be an even that is when we can get um, um equal to one because if this place were to be negative one and then we have an even power like four we subtract then we are going to get one when we have even power like six we subtract we are still going to get one right so that is the only that is a possible way where we can get um being equal to one so but then if we plug in a negative one into the exponent let's say we put a negative value into the exponent so let's say we have x here being equal to negative one we are going to get um an odd number so what we can do is to um get rid of the um the negative so basically we are going to apply lean on both sides so we apply lean on both sides so we apply lean here being equal to s the power that and then the lean of one now with this um this is to the exponent so this move in front here so we are just going to get um s minus two here and then the lean of x here being equal to the lean of one right the lean of one let's put them in the bracket so with this um when we further simplify this we are just going to get um our x minus two here the lean of x here now lean one is just equal to zero right so if lean one equal to zero then which means that we can take um both um expression over here so we have x minus two here being equal to zero and then also lean x here being equal to zero right so when we take um s minus two equal to zero realize that s we are going to get two and then for lean x being equal to zero um we have um um, the exponent here and then we have e to the power so we are just going to get s being equal to um, natural log raised to the power 0 which s equal to 1 right so therefore right we can conclude that okay x here is just equal to 2 or 1 why is s equal to 2 or 1 so let's check s to the power x is equal to um, s squared so if s equal to um, let's say 2 if s equal to 2 then which means that we have 2 to the power 2 here being equal to 2 to the power 2 which is s equal to 4 on both sides and then if um s equal to 1 then which means that we have um just uh, 1 to the power 1 here being equal to 1 and then squared right so we have 1 equal to 1 which is s equal to 1 so basically therefore we can conclude that s equal to 2 or 1 and that will be the values of um, x in this case
thank you very much for joining me in this section i hope this session was helpful if you are new here please like subscribe and also hit that notification bell to be notified anytime we release a new video thank you very much and i will see you guys in another section